All right, last step here is to now install Pygame on a Mac. Um, this, the the window, I did a different one for Windows, Pygame installing on Windows, and it, I'm really using Eclipse to install it. It might work for a Mac. So Mac users, maybe try to do the, the, um, the install that I showed on Eclipse. It's very straightforward. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not sure if it will or not. Um, but if it's not working, then then this is kind of a longer uh, way of sol of solving the issue, um, and it's a workaround. Um, but it it will work. Um, so again, go to the other video, try that out first, and then if that does not work, come back and uh, watch the rest of this video. Uh, okay. So here we are with our Pygame test file, and we'll see that we don't have the module named Pygame. And so um, we need to go ahead and install that. And we're going to use Terminal to install it. So again, you can find these instructions if you search Pygame install and go to pygame.org. There's uh, installation notes, uh, and they have Mac insta installations, a little bit different. But for Python 3 on Mac, there's some known issues with the pip installation. So that's why I'm not, not sure if the pip install will work um, in Eclipse. You can try it, and if you're back from that other video, it's, it probably didn't work. Um, but you can try and follow the instructions here. And if you have the newest Mac OS, it should work. Um, if they don't work, there's some other edits in this post that you can you can go to and look. So the first thing you need to do is find your terminal on Mac. And so this is the little thing at the bottom here. Um, it's a, a black box. If you don't have that, um, you can just search for it in your applications. Uh, if it's not there in alphabetic order, just just go ahead and, and put it into the search bar. Not terminal. Terminal. Um, search in applications. Yeah, there you go. Um, and go ahead and open that up. And you'll see it it just opens up your um, login of a prompt and what you want to do is go ahead and, and copy this into uh, now you have to watch out because the quotes matter so when I copied and paste this it's actually not not working because it doesn't know what the quote object is um, and so you actually have to go ahead and, and type it in um, yes yeah, so, or you can you can try and like just copy the middle part and type the quote part um, but either way, um, let's go forward a little bit here. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this out uh, right here. Okay, so it's Ruby dash E and then the quotes. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the quotes here are different than the quotes there. But if you go ahead and enter, um, you'll see the script will install the following files, and so you can go ahead and hit enter. You'll also need your admin privileges, so make sure you have your password handy. Um, and when you press enter, it'll prompt you to enter your password because you're modifying some user files. So uh, go ahead and type in your file, hit enter, and it'll install a bunch of stuff. Uh, and that'll take a, f a few seconds, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip through this. Okay. Still downloading a couple things. And. Alright, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is this brew install Python 3. Again, if, if that didn't work or if there's something up, there's some other. Uh, there's some other source sources available um, to search for. So we're going to do the brew install Python 3 next, once that one finishes. And so you can see it's installation successful, so just do a brew install 3, install Python 3. Um, and then this again will go through some different stuff. It'll install a few things. And I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Okay, 
Um, once that finishes, we need to install uh, Mercurial. So brew install Mercurial. Hit enter. Again, that'll take a minute or two to install. So we're going to fast forward through that. All right, so that's all done. Um, and then the next one is the brew install SDL, SDL image, SDL mixer, SDL, etc. All right, so again, you can copy and paste that, um, type it out. All right, and it's going to install a bunch of stuff. All right, and then the last thing is this brew tap homebrew slash head only. Not last thing. Next thing. Uh, and then brew install SMPEG. Again, I'm, I'm kind of fast and forwarding through this. Yours might take a little time. Just go ahead and pause the video. Or just follow it along on this Stack Overflow post yourself. And then lastly, um, sudo dash h pip install. And then this is just the um, directory where uh, Pygame is stored that we're using. So HTTP, HTTP uh, bitbucket.org. Uh, and if you're using Python 3, which we are, um, we're going to want to say pip3. I'm going to go back there and change that to pip3. And then I go ahead and hit enter, and that will now install Pygame. Uh, you'll be prompted to enter your password again as an admin. Uh, and that will I'll finish up. And once that finishes up, it'll say install for Pygame done. And you should be good to go. So if we go back to Eclipse and we go ahead and run it now, um, we'll see that where is it? Yeah. All right, we'll see that it runs. It runs fine. Um, now, there's the reason that's still red there. Um, we we just want to retype that. So, if you just go ahead and just retype that import, um, then Eclipse will recognize it, and then you're you're good to go. And so it should be up and running. Um, if you're still getting red underlines in certain places, there's a little fix you can do. And it's right here. Let me go back here. Uh, right here. Window preferences PyDev. This is actually the commands for window. Um, for a Mac, it's up in the Apple in the corner. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you go up to Eclipse and you go to... Uh, preferences um, on the side here PyDev interpreters oh, we go. PyDev interpreters Python interpreter and you'll see now I actually have PyDev and ins Pygame installed um, on this list right here um, but if I go to forced built-ins tab and put in new Pygame. Um, this will fix some other potential errors that might pop up later on when you're writing code. So, and again, just rename, retype the import, and it'll get rid of the red underline there. And you should be good to go. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful and that we will be coding in Pygame soon.